Hello, welcome back to Kraftwerke. I have been um, in a bit of an internal turmoil for the last few weeks. And um, anyway, this is going to be a, another long, boring video, but um, I have a few questions and it would be cool if you guys um, give us your thoughts on this whole story. So I've been building pedals now for the last year and a half. Um, been very happy with them. And one of the reasons I started building pedals was it's something I just always need to stay busy and I absolutely adore pedals. And I maybe got way too much into the whole um, doom and stoner kind of aesthetic of um, music and guitar tone and all of that. And so the majority of the pedals that I've built was with that kind of tone in mind. At the same time, last year, I um, managed to get the band back together and we have been jamming and the kind of, um, we always, well, I've kind of tried to make us lean towards the whole kind of doom uh, and stoner kind of metal kind of, uh, uh, sound, not necessarily do music or, or, or that, but that that kind of like um, kind of darker, more melodic, um, really heavy guitar tone kind of and bass tone kind of stuff. Um, the album is finished and we've been rehearsing and it's, it's going to be out uh, on the 18th next, uh, next week. Um, so it would be awesome if you guys kept an eye on social media because it'll be out uh, soon. But anyway, obviously during that time we recorded and, and I, I did all the recording and mixing and we did some videos and we're jamming off and, and I'm constantly backwards and forwards with my pedal board and the kind of pedals that I use. There's a, there's a massive difference obviously between when you're recording what you're using and when you're jamming or you want to play live or what you're using. And this is exactly where my dilemma is starting to set. Um, there's a certain kind of, um, um, how would you say, how would it be perceived, I suppose is the question, if, um, if somebody like me or any kind of pedal builder for that matter goes out gigging um, and jamming with just a multi effects pedal board. I mean, this has been covered by quite a few YouTubers where, you know, they're into gear, into gear, into gear, and when they end up touring, they end up with a fractal or a Kemper or, you know, line six flipping floor thingy. And the whole reason they do that is because, Jesus Christ, just so much simpler, right? So what I've noticed is that, um, I'll show you the pedal board actually. Um, so this is, this, is my, this is my current setup that I have to lug around. It is fucking humongous, but it is fucking great. So I basically, one of the reasons, I mean the Valaton here is, is great. Um, but for me personally, digital effects are, they're absolutely fine. They sound great. And most people will know the difference. I think we're all happy with that statement. Um, but for me personally, there's just something about it. It's like, it just doesn't feel right, right? Um, but my God, the convenience, right? The fucking convenience of having just this fucking thing here. So we play with just a three piece. And so I have got a looper pedal and we actually have to use this poor bastard a lot. So when I'm playing, I've got to quite often do two parts. Um, and it sits at the end of the chain. And uh, yeah, I, I have to tap toe, tip, 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 tap toe, tip, tap toe quite a bit. Um, and the reason I'm using, um, so I'm using my own kind of fuzzy blender fuzz pedal. Um, I'm also going to replace the Joyo roll boost with my own boost pedal. Um, and then I've got my 
Texan grit. Um, turbo booster on there. Um, and I mean, this is this is probably the fifth iteration of the pedal board. Again, nothing new to anybody watching this. Like pedal boards are being choppied and changed all the time. But actually, funny enough, most of the pedals that I've built were pedals intended to go on my board, not just for sale, but these were pedals that I kind of made for a specific sound and brutality to go straight into the front of an amp. But as time progressed, and because with 3Ps, I play with a lot of reverb and delay and, and looping, and, and it kind of became slightly impractical. And with some clever tweaking, most of the tones I managed to get through this kind of, um, which the famous one that everybody knows now, the little horsey golden horse, uh, was it mosky golden horse, which is kind of like a con clon clony thing. Um, and boosting some sort of distortion pedal. I mean, the the, the fucking, <laughs> the governor, right? The, the Marshall governor is a fucking fantastically sounding, perfectly sounding distortion pedal. It's right up my street. Um, so with actually this, I can get everything I want, right? But I've actually realized that I can actually get most of it just through the Valaton. With the Valaton, the looper pedal, and a boost pedal. Uh, a clean boost just for pushing up leads. So my plan is, because as you can see, so this is a pedal board I built myself and it is fucking huge and it is heavy. It's about as heavy as an amp. And it's got two layers for all the cabling and the power supplies underneath and it's got latches to open up if you need to do any maintenance. It's got, it's got the whole fucking nine yards, right? It really does. And I love it. But number one, it's heavy as fuck. Number two, um, I cannot find a case that fits this properly. Number three, I have mapped out a way of building my own case, which is the kind of thing that I'd gladly do. But if I now added a case to this, it would nearly double the weight. Um, and although I'll feel super proud and cool, it'll be a massive fucking amount of weight. Whereas if I just used, ended up with the Valaton, a clean boost, and the um, the looper pedal. I, I don't use this looper. There's a reason for it, but so don't worry. I know people. I know this thing has a looper, but it's it doesn't work for me. I can pretty much put everything in one of those small little Gator cases, and it's light, and it's and I, there's still space for my cables and extra guitar picks and guitar uh, uh, um, strings and maybe some pliers and screwdrivers or anything that I might need because we are intending on on, on gigging. Uh, and obviously the Valaton is like a very affordable kind of multi fix unit, kind of like in the same vein as uh, the pods and uh, um, uh, and all the others. And it is actually really, really good. It is insanely good, especially for the price. I hate saying, I hate, I hate that fucking phrase. It's good for the price or it's great for the price. But this is really, really good. Especially if you kind of know what tone you're after and you ignore um, presets and you ignore kind of like, I want the orange sound, so I have to use the orange sound in here. No, it doesn't work that way. I mean, this is something I've mentioned way before. It's like multi effects pedal that kind of recreates certain amp tones and cap tones are usually shit, but that doesn't mean you can't create a tone that you want in that unit if you kind of understand or know what you're doing. Um, but saying like, oh, I want an orange uh, OD or something, um, and then choosing the orange amp in here, an orange camp, and thinking that you're going to get to what you've heard live or what you've heard on record, that shit doesn't happen. But there are ways of doing it, uh, you know, so anyway, a few questions. How hypocritical would it be for somebody like me or anybody in my situation to not have a full analog pedal board, especially for gigging? Personally, I don't think it's such a big deal as long as the tone is acceptable and good. Um, how hypocritical is it if you build all these pedals for specific purposes and you end up not using them yourself. I mean, I have used them for the recording, but I probably don't want to 
lug them around on a massive pedal board. Like, before the multifix kind of age, right, where the multifix and the amp and cab simulations were as good as they are now, this was not even a question. You just fucking would have to have a, a decent pedal board, right? So, um, so this is this is purely about laziness and convenience. That, that's that's what this is about. That it, in any effect, that that is exactly what this is about. It's about laziness and convenience for just using something like a multi effects unit. Um, there was another point. Uh, one of the reasons I actually like using the Valiton is because actually when we're jamming, I have got patches that do the amp emulation. Um, and so what I do is I plug the amps into the effects return. So I basically just use their power amps. So nearly all the tone is actually created from this board. Apart from the speakers, everything else happens in here, in, on the board itself. Um, and that actually does a few things. It means that at least from a tonal perspective, except for the speakers, which... Uh, you know, has come to the front very clearly over the last year or so that that's such a big part of the tone. But the point is, um, everything else I have control over. So everything up to the speakers I have control over. So if there's a venue that you're playing at and they have backline, but you don't know what the fucking amp they're going to give you, you kind of are at least in a certain amount of control of your tone up to a point. The other thing that... Um, that you can obviously do is that if the amps are any decent, if they do have good amps, then you switch the amp emulation off and you still have all the effects that you want because you just switch it off with one button and you, you, can, you can go for it. So um, it would be interesting to see what people, um, what people say about this. Um, the, the, other option, the, the other reason, obviously, to use your own gear that you build yourself is that if you're at a gig and people like the sound and they like your band and they start ogling your pedal board they see your pedals and they go oh where can i get them and you say oh go ahead and get them on my shop blah 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 you know it's it's a great way of getting um uh, visibility for for your product and, and uh, demo in a in a real world scenario other than just youtube so it would be really cool to see what you guys think about this whole scenario it's probably not even necessary asking this question but i wanted to make another video and this has been bugging me um, and, um, and that's really that. So thank you for my partial rant, partial indecision. Uh, and it would be awesome to, to understand what your thoughts are. Thank you.